ma'am. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. oh, All right, come on up here, Lyndon. Have a seat. We'll, we'll uh, fill the rest of them in when they get here. My budget last year, I had uh, $218,200 and $225,000 in it. But this budget that I presented this year is based on what I actually received this past year okay. and what I was able to run on. I didn't get in <clears throat> all that I had budgeted last year. So this year I just made it from what I had to spend. Now I've applied for another grant, so if I was to get it, then I would have to come back to you, but you'd come minute. back yes. with an addition to your, an, uh, yes. uh, your funding. Right, but I didn't, I don't have anything about that in here because okay. I don't know about it yet. And you've got uh, four major areas of funding here, mm -hmm. 21st century, leaps, uh, miscellaneous food, and then your sliding scale, right. which is people that are paying. That's uh, the children's fees. They're paying a mm -hmm. tuition. Yes. With a total of 193225 Mm-hmm. Okay. <coughs> and you're running five sites, right? Yes. And if I get this next grant that I have applied for, then it will be to open up Auburn Town and Woodland so I can open those back up. Back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you've got the sliding fee is uh, estimated at $20,000. Mm -hmm. And you're uh, dividing it as follows. Is, is, you ever see that where the sliding fee is? Oh, it's the last one. Keep that one. Oh, Thank you. And then backing over here to miscellaneous foods, twenty thousand again. It's divided, and the, uh, the only category that it's got that sliding fee doesn't have is uh, supply. Uh, supplies. Yes, supplies. And then uh, leaps goes to uh, every category except for the administration, and then the 21st century grant goes to every category. Okay. Are there any questions on that? These grants you got up here, those are the ones that's guaranteed that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. That's the ones we got. We've been getting them. I have them for two more years. Each one of them, two more years. So you got confirmation in writing that you'll have them for two 21st more years. 21st century and leaps. Okay. Two more years. And the uh, sliding scale that just depends that on if you got more. If we get more kids, if you got more pupils, you might go over on it. Right. But then you uh, have, need more food also, though. Right. How much? Uh, Sliding scale did we have this year? Do you know of? It was just right under twenty thousand. That's why I estimated it. Just is a that few estimated or, or the twenty thousand is estimated because it was like nineteen thousand and something. Is what we actually took three in. Three weeks to go in the month. So yes. Well, no, it's no, closed. it's over. Yes. Closed. That's right. Okay. But if we open up those other two sites, then that should bring that up even more, the sliding stuff. So, this, I want to bring out a point that you're aware of, but I want to reiterate it. This is not no county money. This is all through grants, and it's providing five um, sites at this time. We hope these other grants come through, we can go back to seven. We just hope we, uh, one site guaranteed you that they got down and didn't have enough kids, and we had to close it, but they guaranteed you they'd have enough kids. If she told me it when she called me and talked to me that if I would open her up that day that she would guarantee me 17 kids that day. And say that, so that's, that was that's a good side if we can get 15, 16, 17 mm -hmm. kids. That'd be good for the Auburn Town community. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Right. All right. And also on the, on the sliding fee, there is an administrative fee coming out of it and going to the county executive's office to help pay for the work that 
that right. helps pay down so. that, that they do. Yes. So in other words, these grants, see, some grants will allow an administrative fee, some won't, but some of this reach money is paying their own way. You know, they're not a, a burden on us. Reach is paying the administrative cost. Right. That's what, it, uh, That's what uh, it Diane does. does it, but Reach pays her four thousand. Mm -hmm. Four. 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 Mm -hmm. So part of my revenue to pay Diane is from Reach. Is that four thousand reflected in the revenue over here on the revenue pages on the? Uh, Should be. Okay. Should be. Okay. Are there any questions, anybody? Mark, I don't, I don't know if it is or not. You better let me check. Well, we'll find out. Well, I mean, that's just one question I'll, I'll, I'll make me know. Okay. Bill, you got any questions? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. All right. Do you have anything else you want to add? No. How many students do, did you have this last year? We had All five sites. Oh. I was trying to count how many I had at high school. We had well over, well over 250 counting the high school students, the credit recovery program. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. How many land? Over two feet. It's a few over that, but I don't. This this program has had more bad more bad press than anything. And more room is coming, but let me tell you what it's done. It's brought in millions of dollars over the years. It's created several jobs and it is uh, one aspect of it that it wasn't even designed to do it. The purpose of this is to help these kids to keep them out of basically at-risk children, so it's about That's to keep them out of trouble. But a lot of working parents, if the mother and father both work, this is like an after-school daycare thing for them, that they really can't afford after-school daycare, and they send them to Reach. Reach helps them with their lessons, feeds them a snack, and it provides them after-school care till they can get in and pick them up. That there's a lot of benefits to reach, a lot of benefits, and it's brought in a lot of money. And it keeps them from getting behind in school. Yeah. That's if you would talk to a lot of the parents and a lot of grandparents that are raising kids, grandkids now, they'll tell you a lot of them can't do the homework. They need that homework help for their kids. Uh, we probably can't, and I'll tell you why. It's all changed. It has changed. Everything's You'd changed. be surprised mm -hmm. it's changed. I know went back cold in first grade, and. I was just looking at his homework, and from what I, what we did when I was in school to what he's doing now, they're doing stuff. in third and fourth grade. They're in third, yeah. That's what I was gonna say. They're in third and fourth grade level where they're at me. now, and and he, I mean, they, it amazes me that they do and that. And that they can do it. I know, and mm -hmm. comprehending like he does it like it's nothing. Yeah. I mean, it's just, See, I graduated in '71. Can you imagine how much? It's oh yeah. Since I got out, Mark got out. Bill, what you graduate? Forty six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Leon, yeah. they get time served. Yeah, that's out on time. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's no more questions, we we certainly appreciate. I got one more. Y'all go ahead. offer the scholarship programs? Yes. How many do can. you have on scholarships? Do you know? No, not right off the top of my head. But I've just wanted another two people. What we call the scholarship have. program? If we have a kid that they can't afford to pay, or they're having hardships or something, then we exempt them from paying and they come for free. We turn no kid away. And I hate it, but you'd be surprised how many they can't afford to pay. And they have oh, to, we have several. That and they have they to prove they can't afford to pay. Yeah, they, they, have, have, well, they have to have proof of income <coughs> or not income. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Linda. There's Mr. Atkins at the top. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We'll give James one. Hey, you leave us two or three more because oh, okay. we need, Diane one. needs to give us, we need to have some for Kevin. Yeah. Kevin and Todd. And Todd. About five and more. Kevin. And Kevin. And Kevin. Kevin. Well, there's we need more. Okay. Right. Right. We'll take those and give them. Yeah. Thanks, Linda. All right. Next, we've got a Glenn Steakley here from the Audit Committee, and he wants to make a presentation to us. And uh, I wish uh, James was here already, but. 
I he's, appreciate he's got, you got it in black and white, so that's uh, I appreciate you taking out the time to talk to me no. on this. Not, most, most people, when I go up and ask them for money, they run me off. <laughs> so, but I, I, I do appreciate you at least let me get We just know how to say no, don't we? Hey, Daniel, it's still early. <laughs> we won't run you off. We just say no and smile. Yeah, we don't feel bad about it either. <laughs> may have to run some copies of this. I bought a little amount. And I have now, is your committee meeting tonight? We've met tonight. We've already met. We've met tonight. We have, we have you need had. More uh, I've got two, two right here. Okay. Okay. Good. I'll run down the stairs. You know, so. no, I'll put one uh, Gentlemen, when this, when this committee was chartered by the commission in October of last year, uh, I had the very distinctive opportunity <clears throat> to, uh, to be on this committee. I woke up during the first committee and realized that they had elected me chairman. <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. But we just finished our seventh meeting tonight. We were handed, in our first meeting, uh, we were handed uh, a packet, two packets, a total of seven pages is all we had to go by. We had, there is no training available in Tennessee for audit committees. There's a lot of opinions. So what we've had to do, we have had to take our time, research, call, make sure that the next step that we were taking was not off of a cliff. One of the things that I, that I, that I promised myself is I would not let this committee do something against some regulation. I spent a lot of time trying to find and make sure that what we were doing is correct. It would have been senseless for me at that point in time to submit a budget to this committee, mm -hmm. budget committee, for something I knew nothing about. Now that we have gotten into it, now that we've gotten into it, I've got a pretty good idea of what it may need to do. At this point in time, at this point in time, this committee has cost this commission nothing. I've absorbed all the cost on it. With the exception of, I gave, I gave Mike the, the required uh, ad to put in the courier the, of the hotline, the comptroller's hotline. He's gonna pull that out of his bucket and pay for it. And also there's three posters that need to be laminated and he's gonna have the school system to do that. Uh, if I if I could go over this, yes, sir. Three three o two, <coughs> advertising. This is the required annual notice by a local media that we must put in the paper annually. Uh, Thirty one dollars. Uh, that is in the courier. That has just been handed to them this week, and it, it'll run either either on this next courier or the or the, or the next one. Thirty one dollars for it. <coughs> Our advertising for our meetings. I've I spent quite quite a bit of time with Alicia Hodges in the open records of the controller's office to figure out how was the most economical way we could advertise in this. And I would like to thank our local media, WBRY and, and Canon Courier. They worked out a deal. They can put it on their website with no cost. The other three places that we post are as on at the door as you come here, here in the courthouse. We post at the post office and at the library. I go around on, on Friday mornings and put them out and, and Friday mornings I swap them out again. You know, <laughs> But that's the reason that doesn't cost anything for the county. The advertising, the special meeting notes, we have not had a special meeting. But if we have one, we will have to list why we're having that special meeting. And more than likely, that special meeting will be a closed meeting anyway, but we still have to post it. That will cost $50. We have not, have not had that at this point. And hopefully we, can, hopefully we can get away with, if everybody works hard, that we, we shouldn't have to have that. Uh, the, this advertising, this advertising, the first one you see up there is required by uh, the resolution that the commissioners passed and also TLC 93405. Uh, 
308, the consultant, professional assistance to the committee. So far, we have not had to have that, and I don't foresee any situation at this point that we cannot work out where we, can, where we will have to have it. Although, I will tell you right now, our, our resident CPA and auditor, Hope Tenpenny, mm -hmm. has had the unfortunate accident that has made her have surgery, and now she is going through therapy, so she cannot attend the meetings. We just agreed tonight to suspend our meetings and give her time to heal and come back in because we're getting into a situation now where we need her expertise. Okay. I, I have no intentions of using that $200, but if I do, we're going to need it quickly. Okay. And I hope to give that back now, to you next the, year. Uh, the auditors that work for the state that audit our books, can they help y'all? Are they able to come? To meet with y'all, if we need them to, to, yes, to be a consultant. Yeah, if, if, if we need them to, yes. And I, I've already talked with Mr. Lowe two or three times on on, on situations and uh, to make sure that I was clear on them. And they've always been good to do that. To this point, we have not had to have them at this. Uh, next is, is postage. Uh, worked out a way also to to get the. Uh, the information to the to the members by email. And sometimes I have to work real late at night to make sure that they have time to, if they start complaining, then I'm gonna have to do something else. But so far, I've been able to give them the entire meeting package by email at no, at no cost to the county. I, I will continue doing that as long as I can. Uh, mileage, I put some mileage down there. Uh, I've made, I've made one trip out of county. I, I went over to Coffee County and talked to the uh, uh, chairman of their uh, audit committee over there. Had lunch with him. But as, as things come up, we're going to need the benchmark because we need to keep people's opinion out of this and, and, and keep, our, keep our reports factual. That's good. I'm, I'm glad that y'all are moving that direction, have fact-based things instead of just uh, pulling something out of the sky and having no facts to back it up. That's that's what gets uh, well, I come out the of public it. to uh, be uh, mistrustful. Yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> when we start benchmarking, when we start benchmarking, and it will, it may mean a trip or two out of the county and, and actually meet with somebody maybe in Warren County or Bedford County or some some, some other county that or even that, the county that, our size. Okay. Or our, our size <laughs> or, or we don't want to rule out those that are real successful either. No, no. <laughs> regardless what size they are. Yeah. But you're but you're right. You're right. So I put seventy dollars in there but we haven't had, had and, and, and also I have formally requested to Doug Brodery that either CTAS or the Comptroller's Office develop training for audit committees. There's no training for audit committees. We're, we're pioneering right now. We're, we're pioneers. A lot of the pioneers you see have arrows sticking out of them, <laughs> but, but we're, hoping, we're hoping we can get through this first year and, and not have any arrows put in us. And then on the second lap, then we'll know what we're doing. But right now we're feeling our way in the dark. And then office supplies, uh, I, I put in for, for the year a couple of packs of paper, a couple of printer cartridges. Miss Eakley's getting tired of me using hers. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and another thing, when you, if you email somebody, well, just take this for instance. If, if, if Diane had emailed us everything we've been handed here for the last about four weeks, uh, we'd be having to buy some paper to house and another yeah. cartridge. <laughs> See right there, right there. That's, that's just tonight. I mean, people yeah. don't realize that, you know, the the, the crowd of naysayers that, that came in here last year, they don't realize how much you and, and you and, and y'all have put into this. But uh, we are, we're, we're very, feel very privileged to be able to serve on this committee because we real, really feel like that we can make a difference. And uh, coming, coming from an industry where we pinch pennies, we've always pinched pennies. And I am well aware that you need to trim down a budget as much as you possibly can. Then if you have any left, you need to give it back, not, not spend it. That's my philosophy. But I would like to, for the commission, uh, the 
budget committee to take this into consideration for this committee and uh, uh, I would certainly hope that, that uh, we give you your money's worth back. Well, if it, if it helps to uh, smooth some feathers of people that think that the county has been mismanaged some way, it would be worth it. Uh, the auditors, you know, have, have been coming here every year and yes, they, they, by law, they have to write their findings down and we've been uh, probably too slow to react to some of the findings, but it wasn't because we didn't uh, care about it. Any I, questions? Uh, this is one of the things that I think with all the committees that if, if there's anything that y'all see foresee that, that could be to help the commission as far as ideas towards growing or toward the future, we're open to anything. I mean, I, I know all of us are because I mean, we try to put our heads together and come up with the best ideas, but sometimes we don't always see them and somebody else might have another idea that might say, all right, if y'all would do this instead of this, it could, and you know, anybody, anybody that can help lay an idea can definitely help the county in the right way. Okay. Certainly, will. I mean, and I'll pass that along to the to the committee. Now I'm going to tell you another place where they have really been helpful for my office. There's certain things that in a small county you have to do, and people question why do you do that? Why? Well, you've got five outstanding citizens sitting there, but very thoroughly going through everybody's budget, mine probably more than anybody's. And why did you do this? Why did you do this? And it allows a broader range of people well-respected people say, well, now I know why, why they do things like they do. Uh, it, and it, I love the audit committee thing. Uh, I think it gives transparency to, but, to all departments. You know, it's not just me saying it. Right. And then my daddy always said, I always listen to advice. You don't have to use it. They've already given us some advice. Why don't you do it this way, this way, and this way? But be quite frank about it, I never thought about it. And we've changed, and it's really been helpful. We've we've made several changes on their advice. And that's what that was my point, bringing that if there's anything that y'all feel like the, the commission could do, operate in a different manner, I think that would would be helpful. And well, I part, foresaw at the, uh, back last October that the audit committee would work with the state auditors to try to help us with the most economical way to lessen our audit findings. Now they talk, they've assured me every year that there's some of them that we probably would not save. You know, it would cost us money to get them off mm -hmm. and it wasn't worth the cost. You know, you've got to weigh cost ver benefits versus the cost. Absolutely. On anything, Absolutely. A, a business or even, even government sometimes. But we, we have uh, met with each and every department head who had findings. This county had a total of 20 findings last year, a total of 20 findings. We've, we've met with each, each one, one of, of the department heads, and we've asked some pretty pointed questions. And, you know, you know, and, and well, Mike, Mike, Mike will tell you, we asked Mike some, some very pointed questions on there, and he, he responded back to us. But that's what we were there to do, to do. And I will have to say that the response that we've gotten back from almost everyone has been positive. It's been positive. Well, I think that's the idea. That was not to be to be looked at as a bad. Like if you if the audit committee asked you to come, not to be as we're looking down at you, but we're just here to ask questions and help and offer help. Right. And that's what. Now I don't know about any other. Department. And to clarify. Things. Right. And, and that's what. But they have been very helpful to me or my office. Even Diane said, you know, I never. Diane said, did you ever think to do that? And I said, no. And and just little things, but it's really it makes a big us. difference. But we have a. Cross section of experience on the, on that committee. You that certainly I, do. Yeah, it's a cross section like, of like experience we'll, we'll, we'll and a, a cross committee. section of ages, and uh, and it's it's good. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank Any you questions? very much, and we'll um, be sure to give this to the others that aren't here. Glad to have you with us, James. And thank uh, you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, I've had the pleasure of sitting in on just about well, not tonight's, but I've sat in on the every one of your audit committee meetings, I think. And the most amazing thing to me, the reason a lot of these audit findings are gonna get erased this year, there have been recurrent audit findings. A lot of department heads told him that the auditor writes them up, but they don't explain what they want to do about it. 
and working with the audit committee, they have been able to figure out how to change it. And if they're not sure, some of them, they had no clue. You know, like, how are we going to change this if it's a one-person office and they want to segregate duties? Yeah. And there's only one purpose. So they have gone back to the auditor and asked exactly what do you want them to do. And because of that, they said it was lack of communication. The auditor wants to tell them what's wrong, but they don't exactly tell them what they want to do about it. Thank you, Tracy. Anybody else got a comment? Darrell, you got any comment? I'm listening. Did, did, did y'all meet with the sheriff? We did. Uh, good. And he hadn't pulled me over yet. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Glenn, it's well, early. I know, I ain't an auditor sitting down and doing that correct money. But I explained that to the auditor. I said, well, that that's one thing that bothered me about the auditor would come and make an exit to the whole, to the county, Mike, and and all the commissioners would would know it, I think, and and you'd end up with maybe one there. And two, I'll have to say, and I think Daryl, I don't know if Daryl's ever had a different not. Uh, but this auditors, they're limited what they can, uh, used to auditor would come in and sit down with you and help you do your budget and then they'd audit basically their work. They stopped that several years ago about when I come in office. They're not allowed to do that anymore. They're not allowed to help you create. They can't be consultants anymore. Right. So, and, and they, they're a little hesitant to say, here's how you fix it. Well, this, this auditor's a little better about it. She's a little more. She, because I, I know in two or three things, I says, how do we fix this? And she says, well, you can do it this way, this way, or this way. And she'll tell you, she'll give me options. That's good. She's a little more plain spoken. Now make sure James gets this uh, reach. You got that? Okay. I think I gave it. And uh, the next one we want to consider tonight is the general fund contributions here. Okay, Diane said to make you aware. The only addition, uh, a couple of minor increases there where they went up over last year, but the big increase is Chamber of Commerce. They were, they made a request for ten thousand dollars instead of fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get if you don't ask. Well, <laughs> I will again. I'll say this: Neil Applebaum is the new president of the chamber, and he's wanting to do things that we've never done here before be good I, now can we afford it I don't know I'm not saying we can I'm just saying in his defense he he's a go-getter and he works hard other and counties I think Glenn and I will sit out there and I think Glenn can back me up on it if you give him the chance and you give him this money you'll get it back in revenues easily um, with what he's got planned and stuff I mean is right, he gonna bring us a uh, bring the commission I was surprised that he wasn't here tonight I think he I don't know if he knew that Tip. he did. He, well, he didn't know he was coming up because he's. Yeah. Art, I was at the arts oh, center okay. board meeting, and I had him do one one agenda point, and then I said I've got to come on here, but he yeah. didn't know that it was coming up tonight, or he didn't. Well, well, let him, him come next, next week. week. Yeah. yeah, let's get him. In. That that'd be good. But I, uh, now the rest of these though, are, are are self explanatory, and we're going to go down through them right now. Association of Mayors, uh, thirteen hundred dollars. Is eleven fifty not enough? Is it I going think up? They, they went up on. Okay. Auburn Town Fire Department. That's four thousand dollars. That's what we've been putting over there to them. Help, help them because they do out of the out of their city limits calls. Ninety to ninety-five percent of their calls are county calls. Because we don't have a well under fire department over there, and we just yeah. yeah. Website design twelve hundred. That's what we partnered with the chamber and uh, some guy on Short Mountain. Uh, his name and it's a hundred dollars a month for him to keep our website. Is his name C. Robinson? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in there? Yes. <laughs> now, all right, here's the Chamber of Commerce's uh, Chris Chris request and, and we will and we'll we'll listen to his uh, spiel next week. And I don't know for my part I kind of ditto uh, what you're saying with Neil he's a go-getter and I think one just for food for thought and I'll say it again next week you know we're uh, you know we're getting that uh, whatever thousand acres of yeah you know on Short Mountain, 
And I don't believe it would be happening yet. It might happen, might have happened anyway, but don't believe it'd been happening yet without Neil spending the time he has spent on it and devoted to make it happen. I want to say years. I, I want to say that I, want to say, I was Neil come to me with that idea as soon as uh, 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 what two, three, four years ago or something, and he said it, it'll never happen probably, but I'm going after it. And I said I'll back you 100. percent We had a meeting early on in McMinnville with the sheriff and federal agents and state agents, and uh, I never dreamed. But Neil got the federal government to give up their right to any any of it. He got the state government to give up their right. The only one that wouldn't is the Warren County Sheriff's Department. So then he goes to work with Governor Bredesen and they get contributions to pay them off for what the estimated amount they would get. And this would not have happened had been for Neil. In fact, there's a dedication ceremony next Wednesday at right. 10 o'clock and the yes. governor is rumored to be coming. Is it on Wednesday? Wednesday at Wednesday 10 o'clock. Okay. Out there. Mm -hmm. hey, you see, he just gave me a card on it. Well, I got the email about it. Uh, it would be good if all the commissioners that can would come to yeah. that. Is it at that little barn on the left when you go up where that cab is? That where it's, I it's at think the barn. So I'm Gunner not Hall sure, but I think it's where it's They're going to have yeah. signs yeah. and everything Long posted. Barn. They've got it cut off, mowed around, forward right now. I'm providing the bus over here, our transport bus next yeah. Wednesday for the shuttle. They couldn't get one. The game warden panicked. I said, don't panic. I got a bus in the driver. We got that many, you think, Gun? Gonna be a lot of people? Well, they got permission at the Methodist Church there to park. Oh, so, good. yeah, they're expecting a crowd. Good. Bring the brown truck, Clint. <laughs> 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 he gets hot back there. I don't think they locks in the back of the truck next week. All right. Next is the fireworks, and what date is it going to be this year? It'll be on the fourth on Wednesday this third. year. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's is it third. be on Tuesday night? It's going to be Tuesday night, night the third. Yep. There's a mayor and board of aldermen meeting the town of Woodbury that night too. <laughs> so they well, that's that, that that's have been one of the most popular things, right. and I and I give Dale Peterson credit. That was his yeah. idea when he come to me and said, and I bought into it, and and that, that was Dale's baby and if that's probably one of the most popular that and the flyers along the 70 out there <laughs> that's been the, the uh, daryl fisher and the inmates uh, well, they, i mean that's they tend to them every day i've seen them out there attending but yeah, i, I seen them this morning come through there watering them or money changing them out one of the days this morning changing them out and watering them or doing whatever uh, is I, this I, amount just high this is half with the wood city or is, a third a third yeah a third now third. auburn don't pay as much as us in the city I believe they do. I think it's equal. I think so. I, now, uh, me and the, the county and the city pays the same. I was thinking Auburn only paid like a thousand. I may be wrong. I think it's equal now. <clears throat> but it benefits yeah. the city of Woodbury yeah. tremendously. Last year when I was here at it, but you may be right. After it was over, you'll verify this. Ever eaten joint in this town <laughs> was full. It was. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Before and <laughs> after. Uh -huh. The merchants love it, plus it benefits the schools, because yeah. yeah. that sales tax 50% of yeah. those schools. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's a fun evening. It is. Forestry Division, $1,500, Tennessee Division of Forestry. What is that for? We asked that last state year. State fees, yeah. so we have to pay that every year. And that goes to the state, or? No, it, well. It goes yeah. to Tennessee Division of Forestry, which um, is maintains uh, the fire towers. Joe and, Bryson. And Joe and Bryson. Yeah. And, and yeah. the, uh, Each county pays a fee based on Brenda Phillips. Okay, but it goes to the state, yeah. and they use yes. it to pay the fees. And, That's uh, right. Those fees okay. are used to help cover the cost to keep them located in the county. Yeah. Imagination Library is. Uh, that's another program that if you have, don't have small children, I think that's what this letter nine. here from Marshall. Yeah, is this letter yeah. about? This yeah. letter is about it from Marshall Mountain. That's a good program. The kids that get it, it they enjoy it. Yeah, Zach signed up for that. He looks forward to the book every time yes. it comes. Well, it you know, encourages them. <laughs> but the theory, Dolly Parton started this yeah. in Sevier County, and, and it had kids waiting on the mail, and then they couldn't mm -hmm. wait to read, and it, it instilled in them the love to read. Yeah. And, it, and she said the, the statistics showed that it was such a success there. Bredesen, at the time, then wanted to take it statewide. Mm -hmm. And that's so the same as last county's year. Portion. Yeah, that's the county's portion. Yes, right. I mean, does it go to the state too, or is that no, just no? no uh, they've got. We have to have our own 
it's called Cannon Reeds. You should have a Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, I got yeah, one. Got one. And that goes to them to cover their expenses. Not oh, okay. the state, the books, you know, state puts so yeah. much, and then we have to put it. And the library, see, uh, is, is their uh, sponsor. So it goes through the library, too. They, right. They're working together with that. Okay. And that's the same as last year. Senior Citizen Center, 6,500, same as last year. The Soil Conservation Service, uh, we... Again, that goes to the state. That, that pays to keep a soil conservation office here. It pays the secretary's salary. Yeah. They, uh, uh, David George always sends us a bill. And we that's right. And right now the uh, USDA is contemplating closing the uh, FSA part of the office up there and moving it to DeKalb County, but the uh, our soil conservationist here, uh, Pam Hoskins, she has seniority over, and she oversees DeKalb County, so in theory they may leave her here and she'll work DeKalb County from here. That'd be good. Going back one notch, and I'll shut up, the senior center, that is no longer under uh, my office. We do not write their checks, at, and we did that on advice from the auditor. She, anything happens over there, I don't know about it. This $6,500 is what we have contributed for several years. Is a, is a, pay the is light a, bill, or the, is a donation to them to, to pay donation. their some of their expenses and, and over there. And we furnish their building, too. They, you, oh, yeah, maintenance on the building yeah. and everything. And we used to didn't do their books, and we did it to save them an audit fee. Well. And they had to hire a, a, pri um, a private CPA to come in and do their audit. Well, the auditor recommended we go back to that, and that's so I have nothing to do with senior centers now. Tennessee County Services, 1,085, that's the same as last year. Tennessee Rehab is increasing 250. That's the school in Murfreesboro that works handicapped people, adults. Uh, I can only. There's, I forget how many we had at one time, but only one that I know is uh, Joe's. Yeah, brother, uh, Stephen. Stephen. Uh, and, and they take them, and some of them are pretty severely handicapped, and they uh, give them little jobs to sort out boats and stuff. And it's real. And, and uh, Rutherford County puts quite a bit in it, and we used to didn't put any in. Anyway, that's what that is. But it went up? Yeah, they, they're well. Actually, it's they're asking for more. Okay. Yeah, uh, they don't they don't really charge us. Okay. That, that's technically a contribution. Okay. And our contribution was seven fifty, and they've asked for a thousand. <coughs> Next is Upper Cumberland Development District. Uh, same as last year, twenty one hundred and eighty four dollars. Based on population. Based on population, but okay. Not to help pay the salaries and stuff for the people that's no, over here. No, this or? is the this is the. There's two groups up there. That's the one below that. UCDD is the one writes all our grants, so oh, we don't okay. have to hire a grant writer. Right. They're the ones that sent the. Uh, they're the ones we contracted with for the uh, planning planning, planning commission. Speaking but, of which, have we heard anything back from them on that? On zoning, working on zoning. Or, or, no, I, mean, I hadn't heard anything in the last. But four that is based on know. population. <laughs> And then Upper Cumberland Human Resources Agency, Title Five, seventy-five, sixty-five. That's the same as last year. Title Five is only one aspect of it. Transfer. You see these U carts. Mm -hmm. uh, that's part of it. Uh, what Larry Davis? Everybody still calls it Larry Davis's office. Uh, the the new guy in charge is Tim Bain now from Auburn Town. Some of y'all may know him, but you'd be shocked at how many elderly and needy people that organization helps through uh, uh, food through uh, uh, one big thing is uh, uh, help with their uh, utilities and home repairs we had a family I had them a brand new home free through that and they wouldn't take it because the only place to build it, they had to tear down the old one, and it's literally falling in. The floors have fallen, and they're really, uh, but they wouldn't take it. A brand new home. But uh, there's a boy here in town, I won't call no names, it's low income. They're putting new windows and weatherizing his house as we speak. They started that. So that's a good pro. There's good. And them are federal grants, they were not state. That's not state or local money. All that comes to a grand total 
of 49454 Last year it was 39747 The $10,000 is the Chamber of Commerce's uh, request that, that we'll have to consider with the whole committee, uh, you know, the whole Family budget. Family tradition committee. shows zero. The reason the, you cut it out last year, but we had a contract with them, I had to go one more year. So Diane left it out. That's a good thing. Now, I'm, uh, but now, I know you cut it out last year, but what that is, that's where you send anti-drug mm -hmm. books to what age? Certain age, first grade maybe, uh, to every child in the county. Joanne Hancock's the first one that got involved in that, and the county got into it, and it, it just sends an anti- Now, as far as the senior citizens is concerned, you've got everybody paid from them. And she says in her letter here that it goes directly to utilities for the next budget year. And there's a, all of their board members over here, if you want to know. I'm not gonna, Any I'm other? You've got to go? I don't cut loose. Okay. Thank you for coming. Right. We're done as far as I, I think. Uh, I guess and we'll, we'll next Thursday night, we'll... Is that going to be kind of wait to see if anybody's going to? Well, you're going to have Neil and Neil's going to be here, okay. and we'll we'll get to we'll certainly get to rescue squad here. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. I forgot about that. Go ahead. Well, she said that she won't be able to come. She's going to be on Thursday night. Okay. She has an engagement every Thursday night, so she said if y'all wanted her to be here to help out. Could you switch it to a different night? Not totally different. Okay. We'll consider that when we get to going on these, uh, going back over them. Mm -hmm. We might have to go to Tuesday yep. night or, or okay. whatever. We'll do that. All right. Anything else to come for the budget committee tonight? Oh. And did you got any uh, Go ahead. Two, three meetings ago. I know two meetings ago anyway question had come up and, and maybe the answer is given and I missed it somewhere was what the eight thousand dollars that we were paying the secretary of the commission to do the minutes mm -hmm. we, did we get a clarification on that not yet okay not yet okay are we going to yes we will okay. <laughs> any any other questions Ricky, you got a comment? Oh, uh, we're thinking about putting your budget over by itself. You know, do you think that would be beneficial? I, I can't. I don't. I can't say one way or the other because I never. We never done it before, so I don't really know. I'm sure it's, it'll show how much. I well, think it, it can be used on the tax dollars. Yeah, but it'll also show. It'll pull your revenue over here, so you get to pull it against it. Because some people will look at your total budget and don't realize that y'all are bringing in this other money on the revenue side. And that will be a, a plus, I think. I think a couple of weeks ago it was said that it looked like we were going to be about $9,600 short. But I, don't, I think we're going to be, we, right now we've taken in more money than we've ever taken in. We write it, write it $500,000 and we've got this month of June to count. So That's good. It's going to be, uh, I think the bidding company that, that we've got hired to on the next job, I think they really that's good news. I'm I'm glad to bill and that and that took a headache off of y'all too to have somebody else do the billing. Any other any other questions or comments, anybody? Unless you receive notice otherwise, we'll meet back next Thursday night then at six o'clock. What will that be? Today's a seventh. That's fourteenth. And the thirteenth is the uh, Right. Thing at Short Mountain. All right. And the 12th is the commissioner's meeting. Well, that's the commissioner's meeting. Yes. <laughs> Stay busy every day. <laughs> but we're not going to have a meeting before the commissioner's meeting. All right. Well, unfortunately, the 14th of the hour is the election commission meeting, too. Well, there's nothing yeah. to go before. <laughs> that's where the fireworks.